Look at my ear. Look at my ear. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Look at that. Leah is in the house. Jamie is in the house. You guys are coming in first. You get the prize. Okay? You get the prize for showing up first. Oh, look what I've done. I've just scratched <laughs> a scab. Hold on. Oh, this, this is going to be interesting now. Look at that. I just scratched myself. Boom. That's from our uh, fence project. I'm going to have to watch that because that will get all over the place. You know what? I, I know what. To, uh, hold on. I'll be right back. I know exactly what to put on this. wing it tonight <laughs> hey Jamie we're just gonna have to do let's see I think I'm okay I'll just have to wing it <laughs> we we were we were putting up our fence over the weekend and I got scratched that's all it was it's just a flesh wound <laughs> right all right Let's see what is going on here. How is everyone doing tonight? Are you guys ready to draw? I'm ready to draw. I always find, and I, I don't know about the rest of you, but a lot of times I'm very tired at night and I think, oh, I just do not, I do not feel like drawing. And then once I sit down and I get things rolling, then it's like, oh, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm okay with drawing. <laughs> but the idea sometimes of drawing after a long day is, it seems to be like taxing, but in all reality, it's, it's not. So let's go ahead tonight. And uh, we've been getting so many new people and I couldn't be more pleased with our group as it's growing and I never know who's going to tune in so we're going to do a quick review and um, John hello use the <laughs> yes yes use the Jedi healing John says hmm these aren't these aren't the wounds you're looking for <laughs> that's right that's what we that's what we're going to say so um, anyway so let's let's just start fresh and take a look at take a look at this from the top all right of drawing the head drawing the head is one of the hardest things you're going to encounter because we are so familiar with the heads and uh it's something that uh we just have got to practice and if i could simplify it for you all the better but um the only way to get good at it is repetition, okay? Just constant repetition. So let's try and keep this as simple as possible, all right? So let's just, let's look at some general proportions of the head. I'm gonna just start off with two, two large uh, oval circles here, right? And the first thing we wanna look at when we're gonna draw the head, we want to look for the brow line. Okay, the brow line is the part that goes right along the brow, okay? And then we're going to draw the center line, and we're just going to drop a center line here. And let's go over some basics. The halfway between the brow line and the bottom of the chin usually will sit your nose. Uh, your... Next thing I want to always look for usually are the temples. Temples are, are this little section. You can feel them with your fingers on your eye. Temples are right here. 
And if I'm if I'm drawing the head looking straight on, uh, the head a lot of times is kind of it's flat on the side. So, so we want to make sure that we're gonna kind of shave off the sides of our head slightly. All right. <clears throat> Continuing drawing here. Let's uh, let's take a look at the. Next thing I put usually is the uh, gabella or the third eye, and it's like a uh, it's like a keystone shape. Okay, and then my nose will will flare out like this, and it'll come back down. It's almost almost like uh, let's see if I was to draw this like this way. It's like it comes down and it sits. See that? It sits on this plane right there. <clears throat> Next thing on the nose we're going to draw is the nostrils. And then and then from here, usually the nostrils on the inside of the nostrils, this is where your eye is going to fall. The inside corner of the eye, you see that? These are the sides of your nose. And then this distance between your eyes is like, um, is the distance that you want the eye uh, eyes to be. So there's like three eyes across. Okay. Behind the nose and it goes all the way down here. is the barrel of the mouth and as you as you get older the barrel of the mouth gets more pronounced <clears throat> those little two dots are the corners of the mouth and Leah, am I going too fast, John, Jamie? If I'm going too fast, just let me know and I'll slow down, okay? <clears throat> Corners of the mouth usually will line up with the pupils of the eye. Then you get the uh, septum that comes on the inside of the nose. How's my wound? Look good. And then the ins the septum comes together, and this forms the center V of the upper lip. upper lip center of the lip overlaps kind of has this sort of thing going corner of the mouth is going to kind of come straight across here that lip And the bottom of the lip. <clears throat> we like to shade this top lip in because it's this right here. So it's it's as the light is coming down, 
it's not going to catch the light. It's the bottom part. It's the bottom lip that's going to catch the light. Chin is down underneath here. We're going to get a little shadow, usually underneath the, uh, the lower lip. Do I have it or did I leave it upstairs? Oh yes, this is what I wanted to show you. Oh. You know, I I really struggled. I really struggled with drawing the portrait for so many years until I did this one thing. And this took me a long time to do, but it really uh, it really um, made all the difference. As soon as I did this one thing, it changed everything. And what I'm holding up to you right now is my own personal step-by-step -step how I draw the face. And when I actually went through and made this little, little model for myself, then I finally started to getting these things really set. Oh, those are feet. Really set in my mind. And I'm not asking you to copy these things. I, I don't really want you to do that. But at some point, and, and I can only speak from experience, at some point, this is what, uh, what did it for me when I actually sat down and created my own little step-by-step -step guide of how I uh, would create create the face so um, I added and then I then I then I actually went through and added a uh, my own personal step-by-step -step, everything that I go through when I'm drawing a face now I did this a long time ago and I'm sure that I have forgotten many of the steps, but it's it what totally helped me at the very beginning to try and get my eyes, uh, get my mind around this thing. Um, and this was a combination of multiple teachers, multiple processes that I had learned over the years. So that's something to keep in mind, something to keep in mind. But here's a simple version. I'm just going to hold this up here and... There's a simple version that if you were just to practice something as simple as this, it would um, it would really help you to get these basic basic ideas down. So it's just something to keep in mind. All right, let's continue here. So then we're going to come down here to the corner, the corner of the uh, the corner of the jaw, and that lines up with the mouth there. And then this swings around like this. You see this? <clears throat> and let's go ahead and put these uh, uh, eyelashes in, these uh, eyelids in. The eyelids wrap around the top, wrap around the, the ball of the eye. So if you were to think of that, if they're going to come up, oop, that's okay, we'll go with that. Up and down, up and down. The pupil hangs usually from the the top of the eyelid there. And in some people there's a little bit of a fold of skin here. Others there's not. Then you have the bottom of the eyelid. Okay. And we could add 
uh, a bit of an eyebrow now here. And then we have our ears and our ears will usually line up the bottom of our ears will line up with the uh, bottom of our nose. And top of the eye. Okay, and that's that's basically our uh, those are our basic proportions. Uh, hey guys, don't forget to like the stream. Yes, thank you, John. Absolutely. <laughs> Woo, John, get some money. <laughs> thank you very much. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into our picture. Okay. So here is the picture we voted on, and I think you guys did a nice job on this. And let's go ahead and get drawing this, okay? Okay, so when we're when we're drawing the head, I always go through three processes. Three steps before I get into it. And I determine what the 2D axis is, the 3D axis, and the face placement. Let's talk about that real fast. <clears throat> Let's just say you had three heads here. The first thing I want you to think about is the 2D axis. And if if you were to think of a, a stick here, let me use, I'll come back here just a little bit. If I had, if I had a, uh, a stick coming out of the top of my head, and the 2D axis is the point that that stick is pointing, okay? So if, if I'm like this, you, you get an idea of that it's pointing this way. If I'm looking like this, it's coming in like that. You see that? So let's drop in the 2D axis first. Let's say one of them is gonna go like this. This one's gonna go like this. And this one's gonna go almost straight up and down. That's the 2D axis. The next thing I want to determine is on the 2D axis, if I'm tilting this way, is this coming toward me or is it going away? Okay, so next thing we want to do is look at the 3D. So look at this, uh, we'll call this A, B, C. So let's say A is coming towards us. So we're going to, we're going to indicate that with this. And that's the top of the person's head, okay? B is going away from us. So we're going to see the bottom part of the of that cone you see that and in c we'll say that this is neither tilting away or tilting forward it's just the person's looking straight up okay so that's the 2d that's the 3d axis and then the last thing we want to determine is where along that is the face so if if i'm sitting here here all right, that's the 2D axis. Let's say we're just like that. And I come forward, that's the 3D axis. And now which direction is the face pointing along these two axes? So in our character A, let's just draw the brow line and say he's looking, this person's looking this way. All right, let's draw the brow line for B. 
And let's say this person is looking up this way. And the brown line for C, and we'll say this person is looking off this way. Now for the face then, just like what we did before, we're, we would drop in our two uh, temples, drop a straight line down, two temples, drop a straight line down, the temples, drop a straight line down. All right, next thing we do is we slice off the side there right at the temple, slice that off, slice that off. This is where your ear is going to go in the bottom quadrant there. <laughs> okay, bottom quadrant here, okay. You're going to drop down the jaw just a little bit, drop down the jaw, drop down the jaw and spin it around. Come around and create the chin, the jaw. Now this one is interesting because you're going to see the underside of it. All right. So that right there is their basic, our basic head. Then from here, we could start adding things like, uh, you know, the they call this the visor. You could start to build upon this. Barrel, the mouth, everything that we just did a little bit earlier. Everything can fit into this. So this is the idea. Learn your construction. Go for your construction when you're drawing heads. And then the, then the likeness will follow. You get the construction down. It's things just seem to fall in place. If you skip the construction part, you tend to run into some problems. But now you could get to a point where the construction is so set in your head that you could skip it because you know it. You know, but at this early point in the game, uh, you definitely want to keep um, keep practicing that construction. Okay. Any questions? No questions. Okay. Either everyone doesn't want to talk. Or I'm just doing okay. <laughs> Alright, let's do let's get our guy here now. Alright. So I'm gonna start off with a nice big sphere. Okay, so he's slightly first 2D. He's just slightly to me, just kind of slightly leaning back a little bit. Alright. Slightly leaning back. And he's looking up a little bit. So I'm going to do this. Okay. Slightly leaning back. Um, that would be my 3D perspective. Now let's get the let's get the temples of his let's get his temples. They're gonna be just about right right about there. And then the T is gonna come down. Okay. T is coming down there. Okay, so from his temple here, let's go ahead and give him a nice big oval here. Straight line coming down here. Here's going to be about there. I might I might make an adjustment a little bit later. And let's kind of establish where his nose is going to go. I'm going to go right about there. And 
And let's just get the bottom bottom part of his nose kind of shaped in just a little bit. Check those angles. You know, the other thing too about drawing faces is I notice that the more the more you do it, it's like something starts to come in focus. So you just have got to keep keep working at it. Okay. Hello, Wi-Fi lines got cut last two days, so I'm glad to be back on. Woo! All right, Brianna. Brianna's back in the house. Wi-Fi got cut. That's awful. <clears throat> so, my... I'll tell you a story as we're just kind of doing it here. My, we sent my son off to Europe yesterday, and he starting his three-month journey in Europe in London and I was curious he said that he was having a hard time getting hooked up on the public Wi-Fi hey is there like is anyone from England online if you are do you guys have like Wi-Fi throughout all of England or all of London or you got to go into a Starbucks or a McDonald's or something like that okay I went ahead and, and dropped my two um, spheres for his eyeballs. And this is, this is how I draw my eyes. I always start off with the spheres. Because it's easier for me to um, get my pupils lined up. That's how I roll. All right, let's get this barrel of the mouth here. And his chin. Boy, I made my nose too wide, but I'm just going to roll with it. Okay, there's the corner of his mouth. Mouth. Following the shape here. Now, I'm going to make sure when I put this center section in, it's more to the left. Look at the look at this here. I want to show this to you. Look very closely at these lips. Look how the look how the bottom lip really overlaps. Right down here. And 
And I'm going to just drop a quick tone in that top lip. Oh, white white line. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, let's work on the far right hand side of his head here. Okay. And when I'm looking at this, what I'm looking at is this negative space. Okay. corner of the jaw, where is that? And when I say corner of the jaw, this is what I mean right there. How are we doing? Am I going too fast? Give me a give me a thumbs up, somebody, if I'm going too fast. I could slow down if you need it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking. I like I love looking to see how everyone does as well. All right, let's get these eyelids in. Uh, once again, think that you're covering a. A lot of times I like to take a piece of clay and if you get, get some Play-Doh or something and make a round ball and then take a little piece of Play-Doh and wrap it around or if you have a kneaded er eraser you could do the same thing to get the concept that the uh, eyelids wrap around the sphere, okay? wraps around the sphere. The other area, the other thing I look at to help make sure I'm getting my eyes close, I do this as well. I'm gonna zoom in for a second. I look at the negative space here, here, here and here, okay? I'm trying to match that. What this is, this comes up high here and drops down. Okay, I'm going to add a little tone here. This one got a little big on me. Okay. It's, now this is this is why I like drawing a uh, uh, the eyeball because it really helps me to determine the shape of that um, lower eyelid. Now he has this uh, it's almost straight, curves down a little bit. And the other one over here as well. <clears throat> I 
and now one thing I want you to make sure you do is um, t put a tone into the whites of his eyes because they are very dark in this photo and most people don't tone those areas down. Okay, let's get his nose in here now. Nostril is hiding behind that ever so slightly. I'm making some slight adjustments. If you're using uh, Procreate tonight, I'm using my 6H pencil, but I typically, on the left-hand side, you can see that I, I don't go for the full size. I drop mine down to about 60%. Okay, let's get these uh, eyebrows in here. Okay. Look how dark it is over here. I'll tell you this, <clears throat> I made my nose too wide. Okay, let's go ahead and, and think about some value on the right hand side. I'm going to, this whole side here is going to have a little bit of value to it. So I want to, I'm going to drop that in right now. Trying to make a nice, even tone. And then even up here. I'm going to get the corners of the lip and this kind of gets in dark shadow and then gets lighter. Same thing on this side over here. A little bit of surface lines on the bottom lip. And then there's a slight shadow right where the chin comes in. where this ear is and let's let's be very careful that when we put this ear in we're looking at this distance that's what we're looking for right there and it looks like on mine I've gone uh, too 
Um, it needs to be closer. I think right about there. Bottom of the uh, ear lines up right by the nose there, right by the mouth. Top of ear. Kind of comes around like this. A letter C. A letter Y in the ear. And then another C. All right, let's let's kind of put in gesture in this hair here, and we want to look at, we really want to think of it as a mass. Not thinking of it as individual hairs, a mass. Neck is coming straight down. There's a little bit of a sideburn here, right? Hard jaw line coming down. Adam's apple. I'm going to add some tone. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm, I'm, I'm squinting my eye. I'm just going to drop an overall tone into his hair. doing now is starting to go back into this and darkening up my some of my values whoo boy am I off <laughs> oh well that's okay This area here is like he's very he's very chiseled kind of like me <laughs> no, actually he's, he's more like John <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh boy. Just going, I'm just going into some of these shadowed areas and asking myself, okay, where are the, where are the planes? What, what do I see that I'm missing here? What am I missing? All right, I'm going to go into my hair now and work it, but I'm going to, I'm really thinking of this as volume, not as individual hairs. Last week for uh, the daily draw, we looked at drawing hair and we were Taking a look at drawing it like a ribbon folding over on itself. Even in these little curls here, I'm thinking not as individual hairs, but groups. I see you, my nemesis hair, yes. Just think of that hair as if it's like, uh, like, like you're taking clay and you're putting a slab of clay on top. What would that look like? John, did I post for you those uh, Greek statues in Facebook? If I did, then, then I won't. But if I have not for you, they are a great practicing tool, and that goes for everyone else, too. If you're having a hard time with hair... Try practicing drawing statues, marble carved statues. That is a great, great way to uh, practice your hair drawing. Did I just say hair drawing? Hair drawing? <laughs> Okay, let's get some tone in here.
Okay. Adam again, good for everyone. Okay, will do. Would you uh, remind me to do that? Put a post in there and just say, Kurt, add the uh, Greek statues. <clears throat> I've fallen behind. I, I owe a lot of people drawings. But just got too busy at work. Okay, I think we're coming up on our time here, but let's see what we can do here. Now, in this last part here, I'm going to, I'm, I am squinting my eyes, and I only want to leave the areas that are getting full light. Other than that, I want to tone everything else back just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, I think I think that about does it for me. Just going in here making some last little bit adjustments. And I think that's going to do it. Uh, I was going to do some comic hair heads too. They're, they're always stylized. So true. They are. We'll give this guy some little... Little Star Wars insignia of some sort right there. Look at that. He's like some commander on the on the on the starship, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh boy. All right. I think that's it for me tonight. I think I deserve something. A cup of coffee. A cup of tea. <laughs> so, hey, listen. This is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. And I just want to thank everyone for watching. Please do. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thumbs up. A nice comment would be nice as well. <laughs> Those are always helpful. 
And uh, if you are a beginner and would like to take some lessons, we have a great class called the Beginner's Workshop. It's right down in the description of this video, so check that out. And if you want to join one incredible community of people, join our Facebook group, um, Beginning Drawing, Learn to Draw. That is, that's the name of it. And uh, we're on there every day. And thank you, Jamie. May the 4th, May the 4th be with you as well. <laughs> so that's all I got for tonight. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Go out there and make your night great, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Yes, beam me up, Scotty. Boom, a little nanu nanu. <clears throat> nanu nanu. Anyone who knows who nanu nanu is? <laughs> oh, Mork and Mindy. All right, that's it. I'm going to say goodnight now. Goodbye. <laughs>